Welcome to Taxatana channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. Today I'll be doing a how to install video on the VMS short thrust shifter that Barber's Life sent. So if you guys haven't checked out Barber's Life's YouTube channel, there will be a link in the description. Huge shout out to him for sending this to my P.O. Box. If anyone else has fan mail or things they want to send, P.O. Box information is in the description of all my videos, so feel free to check it out. After we get this installed, I will be installing the steering wheel that I got from my brother in Kansas, the one with the purple CRV, uh, the off-road CRV. He wanted the blue uh, steering wheel that I got from a subscriber that had the little buttons on it. I was more than happy to trade him because I really like the style of this steering wheel versus that style and the style that I have in the car. And yesterday, me and Dean went to Budget Wrench Apart in Belton, Texas and grabbed a steering knuckle that had a brand new wheel bearing in it so we can replace it since this lug stud broke off at the drag strip i can't pass tech without all of the lug nuts um, everything else passes tech perfectly fine because we went to the drag strip and ran it two different times and it was fine but now it won't because of that so i have to get that fixed i'll just be swapping this into here as well so with all that being said uh, i guess we'll go ahead and get started on how to install the vms short throw shifter all right, so the first step in this is you're going to want to remove this center console out. Uh, there's one here, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there, and then one there, and on the other side. And then these pieces will separate and come out. You'll obviously take the shift knob off and then uh, pull all that out of the way, and that'll give you some access to the shifter and stuff like that. So here's the 12 millimeters I was talking about. Um, this part up here will have to be held with like a wrench or something while I go down below and loosen the stuff on the bottom end. We're gonna go ahead and get underneath the car and then drop this down and we'll go from there. Really solid feel to it. Um, looks like it's going to be pretty good. So now we're just going to go ahead and reassemble everything. This time I'm going to be putting Mugen shift knob on. It has a little weight to it. Uh, the Texas Honda Channel one's really nice, but this one actually has some weight to it. Um, so I'll just use the Texas Honda Channel one for like car shows and uh, stuff like that, just for the aesthetic look. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this steering wheel off. I actually like this steering wheel, but I like this one a lot better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it.
right, well it's on and it feels pretty sturdy. I really like how this one feels and I really like how it looks and I can actually see the whole speedometer now. Uh, the other one was kind of tinier so I couldn't see parts of the speedometer but now I have perfect view of it. So really happy with it. All right, only thing left to do now is the driver's side spindle and wheel hub, throw that thing on there. That way we can bolt all the lug nuts down and then we'll pretty much be done with the car, for today at least. The wheel hub assembly installed everything's good there got the racing steering wheel and the um, new short throw shifter now there's a few other things I want to do speed factory just came out with a new race cam for the D series I really want to try it it's $349 um, I have a little bit of money left over after selling the green car and paying for all the stuff that needed done with uh, our personal problems that we needed to take care of and uh, I was thinking about getting a upgraded supercharger pulley, but I've been tossing around the idea of trading this off for an EF hatch that Garage Built Hondas has. Um, if you've heard of Garage Built Hondas, then you'll know which one I'm talking about. They have a supercharged EF hatch. Really considered trading it for this one because I love EF hatches, but I'm still not 100% on the idea, but I would love to do a collab with Garage Built Hondas and uh, go to El Paso and do some track racing and stuff like that just to have some fun regardless of if I traded it for the EF hatch or not. But I really love how this build is turning out so I might keep this car. We'll just see what happens but uh, yeah definitely made some progress today. So yeah definitely stay tuned to this channel and my James D guy channel. Um, link will be in the description for that channel. I'll be testing this Hart um, tire inflator. It's a portable one. It has a little battery. Um, against a Ryobi with its portable with a battery so that way we can take this to the drag strip to air the tires up when we let air out of the drag slicks or if we need to air it back up so we'll be testing that um, got my wife some cool seat covers for the pilot they even match the Honda emblem so we'll be putting those in there are all kinds of stuff coming to the channel still so bear with me guys I'm doing the best I can with what I have so um, I guess that's basically it for this video. So if you guys liked the video, please hit the thumbs up, drop a comment below, and let me know what you guys think. So I'll see you guys in the next one. As I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.